Good day, grade 2. Today, we're going to have a lesson that will surely be interesting for you. And this is our learning target. I can compare and arrange in decreasing and increasing order unit fractions. And to start, let's look at the two fractions here. Now, we have one half and one third. What have you figured out with the two fractions? Which is bigger? Yes, you're correct. One half is bigger than one third. Now, when we compare fractions, we may use the symbols greater than and less than and, of course, the equal symbol. Now, again, we have these fractions one-third compared with one-fifth. And what symbol should we use? Good job! It's greater than because when we talk about fraction, we look at the denominator and the smaller the denominator, the bigger the fraction is. And the smaller the denominator, the smaller the fraction is. That's why one-third is greater than one-fifth. Next, we have here the figures one-fourth and one-half. Now, which is the greater fraction? Yes, very good. So, one-half is bigger than one-fourth. That's why one-fourth is less than one-half because the denominator four or the fraction one-fourth is smaller than the fraction one-half. Now we have here the fractions one-half and one-half as well. So how do we compare these two? Yes, we use the equal symbol because they are just the same fractions. Now, we can also use comparing fractions in ordering them. So we have here again one-half, one-third, one-fourth, one-fifth, and one-sixth. We can order unit fractions from smallest to largest, which is the increasing order, or from largest to smallest, which is the decreasing order. Now, which unit fraction is the largest among these fractions? Yes, it's one half. This is the largest fraction. And which unit fraction is the smallest? Yes, it's one sixth. Now, unit fractions with larger denominators have smaller values, like one half, one third, and one fourth. So these fractions are arranged in decreasing order. Now, the larger the denominator, the smaller the size of the unit fraction, and the smaller the denominator, the larger the size of the unit fraction. There you go. So again, we have here one half, and then if we're going to arrange this in decreasing order, it will be one half will be followed by one third, then one fourth, one fifth, and then one sixth. So this is the decreasing order. The fractions are getting smaller. Now, in increasing order, we have here one-sixth. Then we have one-fifth, one-fourth, one-third, and then, of course, one-half. There you go. This is the increasing order. We have one-sixth followed by one-fifth followed by one-fourth then one-third, and then, of course, one-half. Now, remember, unit fractions with larger denominators have smaller values. The larger the denominator, the smaller the size of the unit of fractions. And the smaller the denominator, the bigger the size of the unit of fractions. Good job, my dear grade 2. Now, you already know how to compare and arrange unit fractions in increasing and decreasing order. Good job!